Hi, I am Amit Lunkard. In this video, we discuss about the one of the very important chemical reaction of benzene and which is nothing but the electrophilic substitution reaction. Uh, here, we discuss about the general mechanism which are involved in this electrophilic substitution reactions as well the different electrophilic substitution reactions like halogenation, nitration, sulfonation. So let's begin with this electrophilic substitution reactions. Benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reactions. The benzene ring with its delocalized pi electrons is an electron rich system. It is attacked by electrophiles and giving substitution products. So you must know about the what is meaning of electrophile. So electrophile is a chemical species that forms bond with nucleophile by accepting electron pair. That is you may also say electrophiles are electron deficient species. So benzene which is a electron having a electron rich system because of the delocalized pi electrons and therefore do to, uh, towards this benzene, the electrophile gets at attack and gives a substitution product. So here is the reaction of this uh, electrophilic substitution reaction. Hydrogens which are all hydrogens of benzene which are equivalent one. But here I am uh, just shown the one hydrogen. So here is your electrophile with nucleophile. So, at the, in presence of catalyst, this electrophile get replace this hydrogen and forms a substitution product. So, this is the in general reactions of this electrophilic substitution reaction. So, where E is an electrophile and Nu which is nothing but the nucleophile. So, such reactions in which hydrogen atom of the aromatic ring which is replaced by an electrophile are called electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So the general mechanism which are involved for these uh, all electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions we discuss here. So it basically involves uh, three steps. So we go one by one. First step is formation of an electrophile. So here this electrophile in get formed with the help of this catalyst so you will get the electrophile and in second step this electrophile get attacks the aromatic ring which is the electron rich species to form a carbonium ion so this benzene towards this benzene this electrophile get attacks and forms a carbonium ion this intermediate this carbonium ion which is a resonance stabilized one and it is a hybrid of these following three structures. Okay, so the pi electrons which are a delocalized one and due to which there is a delocalization of these electrons and it will form a resonance stabilized structure. So in next step there is a loss of proton and gives a substitution product. So here this here you will get this addition product means the hydrogen uh, with the electrophile. So with this, this hydrogen which are attached to carbon, the bonding electrons which comes to this benzene ring and there is the loss of this proton and this loss proton attracts towards the nucleophile and you will get this substitution product and the catalyst. So the catalysts which are involved which enhance the rate of reaction. So in this general mechanism step first which is a slower one and which is the rate determining step. So here we discuss the different electrophilic substitution reactions and first one is the halogenation. So yes it follows the same me general mechanism but you have to remember how the electrophile get formed. So first about the halogenation. Benzene reacts with chlorine in the presence of ferric chloride or aluminum chloride at room temperature to form chlorobenzene. You may also use iron powder in place of ferric chloride. So here you will get this reaction 
okay with iron and chlorine you will get the ferric chloride so if you want a instead of chlorobenzene if you want a bromobenzene so you have to use bromine in presence of ferric bromide FeBr3 and you will get the bromobenzene now here we discuss about the how the chlorobenzene get formed which is a substitution product so here is the general reaction how there is a formation of chlorobenzene so benzene reacts with chlorine in presence of ferric chloride to give chlorobenzene and loss of one mole of HCl so now first step is obvious there is a formation of electrophile so look at the reaction the Cl2 means chloride which are uh, gets uh, bonded and this FeCl3 which is a catalyst so what happens this one chloride atom with bonding electrons goes towards this FeCl3 so you will get the Cl plus means it is a uh, forms an electrophile that is which is the electron deficient species with FeCl4 now in second step this form electrophile get attached to the benzene ring and to form a carbonium ion and in third step the loss of proton and you will get the chlorobenzene with one mole of HCl and your catalyst FeCl3 so this is the first one is halogenation in second uh, reaction is the nitration so yes in the for the nitration the benzene reacts with concentrated nitric acid in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid at 60 degree centigrade and forms a nitrobenzene so this mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid is called nitrating mixture so here is the overall reaction and now we discuss the general mechanism so formation of electrophile means HNO3 nitric acid reacts with sulfuric acid to form NO2 plus which is your electrophile and now this NO2 plus electrophile attacks to the benzene ring to form say carbonium ion and next one is there is a loss of proton and is nitrobenzene okay so here is the about nitration similarly for the for the sulfonation the benzene reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid at 120 degree centigrade or fuming sulfuric acid at room temperature gives a benzene sulfonic acid so the fuming sulfuric acid is a concentrated sulfuric acid and that contains added sulfur trioxide so here is the reaction of this sulfonation and you have to remember here the electrophile which get formed is a SO3 plus not a so3 h okay so first step is formation of electrophile uh, look at the reaction you will get the so3 plus electrophile which get formed then there is an attack of this electrophile to benzene ring and it forms a carbonium ion and in third step there is a loss of proton and it having a fourth step in which there is an addition of proton and gives the benzene sulfonic acid so the H3O plus which we get uh, in a step first from that there is a addition of proton to this intermediate and you will get benzene sulfonic acid so here we discuss about the electrophilic substitution reaction that is electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions like halogenation nitration and sulfonation there is two more reactions uh, electrophilic substitution reactions like Friedel-Crafts alkylation and Friedel-Crafts acylation we discuss in next video hope all of you getting this thank you and happy learning